This coming Friday, I'm asking all members of Bethesda Temple Church to honor the Lord with a fast from midnight Friday all the way to 4 o'clock p.m. on Friday. Those of you who are able to go that long, do it. Do the best that you can. Let's fast as a congregation as we prepare ourselves to come and partake of the Lord's blood and body. It had not dawned on me that we have not had a foot feet, because you have more than one, a feet washing service in about three years. And there have been uh, a couple of individuals who are new to our congregation in that time frame who have inquired what a feet washing service is all about. I guess I just kind of took for granted everyone knew, but again, you can't take things for granted. I want to uh, briefly share with you in the scriptures what our Lord has said regarding feet washing, and that will help add some context for you as to why we're doing it. This is not my sermon for the morning, but I do want you to hear this passage uh, for those of you who are relatively new. And again, we will probably read it again on this coming Friday night to reiterate what the word of the Lord says in St. John chapter 13. It says, now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own, which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hand, and that he was come from God, and went to God. He riseth from supper and laid aside his garment, and he took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water in a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter saith unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered and said, If I wash thee not, then thou hast no part with me. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, then not my feet only, but my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, He that is washed needeth not to save, to wash his feet, but is clean every whit, and ye are not clean, but not all. For he knew who should betray him. Therefore he said, You are not all clean. That's why he said what he said few more verses. So after he had washed their feet, he had taken his garments and set them down again and said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? You call me Master and Lord, and you say, Well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also are to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done." And this is why we celebrate feet washing service in the sanctified church. We will begin our celebration on Friday night uh, with our usual testimony service, and then we will go into that portion of our feet washing. We will give you instructions at that time on where the sisters will go and where the brothers will go. And as we have been taught, strive not to uh, prepare yourself with whose feet you want to wash humble yourself and serve your brothers and sisters in the Lord. Now, saints, make it easy for your fellow brothers and sisters. Go and get your pedicures. Amen. Put a little lotion on. Don't come on looking like you've been kicking powder sugar. Make it easy for them to wash your feet. And those of you who have sanitary issues, you can always wash your hands when the ceremony is done but it is done as a symbol of humility and servitude to our fellow brothers and sisters.